Right off the bat, I want to apologize. I spend a little too much time on the first knife and I start forgetting about the second unboxing until about 10 minutes in. I'm sorry, guys. Also, I want to thank Lewis for sending me these knives to check out, man. Thank you, brother. Also, um, the link's in the description. I should be able to link these knives in the description. So if you guys want to get one for yourself, check out the links. There's also all kinds of other links down there. So let's get to the video. Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we got an unboxing really quick. We actually have two unboxings, and one of them is a Tucson. So this is a first impressions on a knife that pretty sure I'm going to like. Let's get into it. So the reason why I have these three out here is because this knife is a Mazuan Mokhtar design. And if you guys don't know, I do like Mazuan Mokhtar's designs. He has amazing designs from Tucson. This one is the Tucson TS301. This is the Tucson TS305. And this one is the 195 Integral. One solid piece of titanium. Very, very well built. Fidget factor is insane. But now we have another one. I believe this is the TS270, I want to say. Um, let me just be positive. Yes, the Tucson TS270. Oh, man. So, this closed-in thing uh mazwan's been doing i'll say this oh this one doesn't have it so i guess this one i have another one uh i just don't have it here but it really adds to the build strength like the knives almost feel like integrals i've taken taken one of them apart and literally everything stayed centered i could still do the action and everything and i didn't even loosen up the pivot first flip <laughs> yeah i knew i was gonna like this one that was really oh man oh that is so nice the lock bar is very comfortable stupid smooth this detent is so good this hole is extremely well placed let me back you guys out just a little tiny bit Oh, the detent sounds so good when it closes and this hole i can do my nail or i can do just the the meat of my finger you can also use this lower part down here to get a little bit more leverage not that you need it because it works just fine even all the way up at the top all oh, this thing melts in my hand i will say without using it yet this is a little sharp right here and I, that's just from me sitting here squeezing it. And let's be honest, guys. Squeezing a knife means nothing for cutting because when we start cutting, we actually don't do that. Uh, well, sometimes we do. I guess for push cuts, you do that. But most of all, the pressure winds up back here distributed across your hand, right? And then, like, when you're cutting like this, the pressure going towards the blade, so it's actually going to here to the pinky. You're holding the pinky tight right here. The blade's going this direction. It's pushing into your palm, but you're just using the pinky here to stop it from spinning out of your hand. So very, very comfortable. Nice little spot right here I can choke up to. Jimping is really good. I like this jimping. Adds perfect amount of traction without being sharp. Now, the grind is different. Um, okay, so it's thicker back here, and it gets thinner. The geometry looks amazing right here, which it does feel really good up here. So about this portion of the knife, it's really good, and it's a nice, tall stone wash. I'm so glad they did this stone washing. Look at that. That is so nice. That's why I always say that they should start doing their stone washing you see what happens to their satin finishes i have another one right here you see what happens to the satin finish this one's a little fingerprinty but that's kind of the problem now let me see what steel this one is okay so this one's the 14c and that's exactly what i keep saying they should do is do it like this with the stone washing then we don't have to worry about the fingerprints 
Oh, that's so nice. Man. I might have to get one of these. Uh, T8s. We have micro milling. It's not as pronounced as some of my other two sons. Um, I don't have them out here. But I have other two sons with heavy, heavy milling. This one's like micro milling. Like very, you almost can't even, you can feel it a little tiny bit. None here in the middle, just stone wash. And I love this raw titan raw metal look. We have just a stone wash titanium that looks beautiful. I love how the stone washing kind of um glimmers or you know sparkles. Then we have the same thing up here on the blade. My one complaint, which I already know I have which isn't even that big of a complaint because it wasn't even that big of a deal on this one. And I can see they are almost the same clip. This one's a little thinner, actually. This one's wider. Um, I might prefer the th thicker. I'm not sure. Okay, so the tension is really good. I'm guessing it's just fine. Um, as of recently, and I don't, I'm not that recent, but... You know, these clips, like especially especially like on the 195 here, this one is horrifying. I hate this clip. It's just way too tight. It chews up your pants like because I always talk about this, the one point of contact you get with a ball clip. Unless if it's an oval shape like Olamic does, Olamics is a beautiful. But when they have one point of contact, you cannot have them have a lot of tension like that one. This one's pretty springy, so I think it's going to be just fine. Um, you see how it has, uh, it kind of, it's thin and then it kind of widens up a little bit here at the butt end. Um, nice and thin or not thin, but here, let me show you. You can see how thick this one is. Now this one, they're ba almost, I guess this one's a little bit thicker back here, but all through here, it's much thinner. Yeah. It contours, which is really nice. Kind of like this one. But if you look at the difference, you can see. That this one's quite a bit thicker. Same thing with this one. So it feels pretty thin in the hand. Thumb flick is great too. Should have mentioned that. But that's the only form of deployment. I like that. That's awesome. Did you hear that ting? Oh, I might not do it again. Anyways. Yeah. I'm liking it quite a bit. Perfect centering. Can't beat. Uh, I guess it's almost 100% perfect. I bet if I just barely turn that, it would line perfectly up with that. That's kind of the beautiful thing about having that crease right there. This one, dead nut centered. This one, dead nut centered. This one is... It's dead nut centered. Let's be honest. Um, I might have to turn... Uh, like, let me just push it a little bit right there would be dead nut centered. It is so, it's such a small, I'm not even, gonna, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining guys. Um, I will say, like I said, it is a little thicker back here, which might in sharpening make a bigger bevel back here. Well, it will a bit when you're sharpening it, <clears throat> excuse me, the bevel will be bigger back here and it'll taper to smaller. Which isn't a bad thing. You know, it's just uh, all, all grinds do something, right? Um, either they'll go from thinner to thicker or thicker to thinner. Um, it just depends, you know, on the blade shape and the grind. In this case, it starts off a little bit, you know, at the edge, it's very close to the exact same. But here in the middle... It's a dramatic, like this is a lot thicker than right here, which majority of cutting, which actually might be a pretty good thing because majority of cutting is going to be in this section of the knife from here forward. When you're slicing, utility cuts, uh, slicing, but with push cuts right here is a little bit thicker. So that might actually help you a little bit with like say wood and things like that. Maybe some things where you're being a little bit more, having a lot more pressure, but this build, I don't even know what I'd call this blade shape. I don't know. A bill. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a sheep's foot. I don't know. What, what would you guys call this blade shape? This one's a little unique. 
I don't know what to call it. It's not perfectly flat down here. It's not a worn cliff. Possibly a sheep's foot, a modified worn cliff, modified sheep. I don't know. Anyways, but it acts kind of like a claw. And this little section right here, we have this groove that goes all the way down the blade, I noticed. It goes up right here and then down this way. So this is going to reinforce the tip a little bit with a little bit of strength while still making it very acute for utility cuts, which, man, I'll tell you what, this section right here just fits so nice in the hand when you're like that. It, it, it just lays right against your palm very nicely, and you can treat it like a claw. Man, I'm really liking this one, man. Ah, ah. I might have to figure out a way to get this one. Damn it. Damn it. Why do you guys do this to me? The action is just stupid good. The access to the lock bar is so good. Even though it's not milled off on the side, it's really good. This is, um, actually, I wonder if it is a little bit more proud. Maybe it is slightly more proud, actually. I think it's slightly more proud, but since they do give you this big gap right there, it really makes it feel like you have plenty of room. I wouldn't cut it back, put it that way. I definitely wouldn't cut it back. And I've thought about cutting back this one, even though this one's not bad either. You just got to go around the front. And then this one too. I thought about it, but it's not bad. I mean, it's really good. Yeah, you got this little corner right there. So, but my hands are used to it. If it bothers your hands, you know, and you said you wanted to to just make a, like take this notch out right there. Yeah, it, it would probably even be even better. Um, I thought about actually taking this little notch out. Uh, yeah, I think this thing's a winner. I do, I do. I, it's kind of weird. This one just recently came out. And this one's the 301, and I believe this one came out before this one. This is the 305. I'm not sure which one of these two came out. I don't know. But 270, sometimes that happens where you have a design in the plans for a while. Things happen, and then they come out a little bit later. Now, I will say I'm going to try to link this below as best as I can. Uh, these knives, man, you can get them for such a steal of a deal. Lots of milling inside there. That's really nice. Uh, do I have my flashlight right here? I did. I don't know what I did with it, but it's really milled out on the inside. Heck of, man, hella milling. Um, very light. It's on both sides, too. Both sides are heavily milled out. So for this size of knife, man, this thing's pretty light. Oh, man, let's get to this next one. I have been rambling on and on about this knife. Holy cow. I didn't even get to this one, man. <laughs> okay, so this is the Tuya. Oh man, I forget the name. Um, the Tuya, the Tuya Cebu. Ooh, ooh, very nice. Now I know this one's been around for a while. My uh, my homie uh, Bama Knife Guy had one of these, and he used to. He was always talking about it. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice in the hand. Oh man, here's another one that's really good. If you're left-handed, this would be a great knife for you. The clip does not reverse. Contour G10, very nice to the touch. Very smooth, nice, good size choil. Nice grind, um, definitely a warden cliff. The access to the liner is really nice, nice and comfortable too. The drop is stupid smooth. Detent is on point. Yeah, that detent is nice. I can fail it if I wanted to, but you want to be able to. Oh, it's hard. Maybe it's harder than I thought. Yeah, but that I want to be able to do that because I want to be able to spidey flick it. And thumb flick is really good. Man, this thing's awesome. You know, I figured I would like this knife. I don't know why I never got it. I will say that doesn't even look like T6s. That looks like T5s.
I don't know. It looks like T5s right here and T6s up here. That's not good. Uh, D2 steel, stonewashed blade. Um, I do like the colors. Titanium milled clip, titanium backspacer, and pivot collar. Action is stupid good. Um, I've always liked Tuya, man. Tuya does a really good job. I really wish that they would do more. This thing has a cool sound, too. Maybe I won't do it again. Every time I hear a cool sound from a knife, I try to show you guys. Kind of. Anyways, but Tuya, man, I wish that they would do more. Um, they... They started off like with a bang. I love Dave Warren. I love his designs. They do have a few models out there, and I know they are actually dropping a couple new designs here coming up. Dave Warren collabed with somebody and has a, a design coming out. Um, I might have had a little sneak peek, but uh, you know I'm excited for that one to to drop. But it just seems like they haven't been. They, most companies have put out so many knives compared to how many they've put out. And I would love to see them do a lot more because I really like their knives, man. This thing is, man, this thing is really good. I, I like this knife a lot. I imagine it's um a pretty good value too. Um, you know, knowing uh Tuya and knowing that it's D2. All right, guys. I'm sorry this one was so long. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.